CSU Channel Island's integration of VoiceThread into CI Learn makes it simple for you to humanize your students' learning experiences. After you have logged into MyCI and clicked on CI Learn, you're ready for step one, which is to insert a link to VoiceThread in one of your courses. Open the course that you'd like to add the VoiceThread activity to. Navigate to the content area where you would like the link to the VoiceThread to appear. When you reach that content area, hover your mouse over Build Content and from the drop-down menu, select VoiceThread. Give your VoiceThread activity a title and enter a description into the description box. This description cannot contain any line breaks or multiple paragraphs, so be sure you do not hit the enter or the return key on your keyboard. If you'll be creating a graded assignment, enable grading for this link in section 3 of the setup page and enter the number of points the assignment will be worth. Under section 5, click the red submit button. Step 2, configuring your VoiceThread link. Now the link to your VoiceThread activity appears in your content area. However, it's not linked to anything yet. So now you're going to configure that link and set it up to be sure that it opens what you want your students to see. You're going to start by clicking on the link. This will show you the VoiceThread setup page where you can select the option that best fits your needs. The options are Course View, which displays the collection of voice threads that have been shared with your course. Anything that has not yet been explicitly shared with the course will not appear here. This is a good option when you want students to find and comment on each other's work, or if you want to allow students to review all course voice threads prior to an exam. The second option is VoiceThread Home. This option displays all of a student's VoiceThread content in a single view. This means content that has been shared with that student in any course they're in that uses VoiceThread. Under the groups on the left, they would see the list of all the groups or courses that they are a member of. And on the right, they will see all the VoiceThreads that they have access to. This may include VoiceThreads shared by other instructors, as well as voice threads they have created or other students have shared with them. This option can be useful if you want to create a simple portal into VoiceThread without directing students to any specific content. The third option for setting up your VoiceThread is to click on Individual VoiceThread. When students click on a link to an individual VoiceThread, they see just the one voice thread that you direct them to. This is a great option when you're using VoiceThread for specific activities in a class and you want to be sure that they go directly to the right voice thread. It prevents students from needing to look through a collection of voice threads and find the correct one that they need to be working on at that time. They go straight to it. And the fourth option is Assignment Builder, which allows you to create a graded assignment for students to complete. You can require students to create a voice thread of their own to submit, to comment on a voice thread you've created, or simply watch a voice thread from start to finish. I'll walk you through the steps involved with Assignment Builder in another video.